Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Let's see where adventure is going to be taking us next. So in our last episode, we kind of just went through the tutorial area and made our character. And now we are in Majula, we are all set up to start embarking on our adventure. First thing we're going to do is go this way. And head over to the Forest of the Fallen Giants. Definitely one of the bigger opening areas, I would say. Because there's like three sections to it, almost. Not that way. <laughs> it's been a little while. Drop on down over here. I think we have an effigy in this chest. Jump on over, homeward bone and soul item. Got a friend over here waiting for us. We gotta work our way over this way. Gem. Awesome. Quick get our bonfire right over here. I wonder if we can hit this guy with our binoculars. Guess this guy's got the bow and arrow. Just out of reach. There we go. Let's make this a little easier. Oh. We got a friend dropping down over here. Should have, I think, some throwing knives over this way potentially. Oh, just a soul item. I think the throwing knives are actually up there. I think we. Oh, one more guy. And just to have them on, we'll put the, we'll put the throwing knives in our items. Okay, let's kind of thin the herd a little bit here. Just go one at a time. Got a guy waiting for us up here of all places. Just kind of start and back down. And there we go. Okay, 
a soul item. Wonder, or I'll probably have to go down a little bit just to target. Now I think there's a short sword over here, but we might not have the stats to use it. Okay, let's check it out. Seven and ten, we do not. Because we are six and let's see. Four and eight. <laughs> so we need three more strength and two more decks. Okay. jump over here. And now we've got some throwing knives. And then hop on down. Continue what we were doing, just kind of one at a time. broken straight sword, which I think is a little worse. Like, I think there's more damage than our dagger, but the uh, critical damage is not the same. Foot soldier shield... Life gem. Human effigy. Broken straight sword. Yeah, I think we got everybody now. Okay, awesome. Let's work our way through. First, let's take out our guy jumping up over here. Okay, there we go. And now we can work our way this way. See you there. Okay, some more throwing knives. And some wooden bolts. Let's switch out our dagger. Got some life gems. Uh, 
there we go. And there we go. This should be the buckler, which is a great shield for parrying. Kind of switch out right now. This has a better parrying motion, I find. Should be a friend over here. There we go. And some witching urns. Now we'll quick get our bonfire right over this way. We have Malentia, the merchant. Oh, come now, help an old woman and buy something. <laughs> okay, we definitely need Leningrass Key. Key of Blacksmith, Leningrass of Majula. The land of exiles is comprised of abandoned old houses, one of which Leningrass has fashioned into a workshop. I want to buy that, and everything else we can kind of let sit because we can find a ferrous lockstone pretty soon. And we do not need any of the other items. My name is Malentia. You are stranger to this land. Oh, we get to strangers these days. Everybody's gone and run off. <laughs> Drang Lake's been up a pile of rubble since the war, thought long, long ago. And the giants across the sea. It seemed like the battles would never end. Poor folk like myself had nary a place to sleep. I swear I keep all me things right with me. You may travel light, but me thinks you bear a burden of your own. Trees grew from the remains of the giants. From each carcass sprouted new life growing into what you see now. But you know what they also say? Don't believe what an old hag says. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's high time that I pick up a move. I've a bargain for you next time we meet my lover. Okay, awesome. So eventually she'll work her way from here into Majula. Get our item there. We'll have to kind of get that in a bit. Okay, hand action, radiant life jump. Okay, let's try resetting. It should bring should bring our crystal lizard back. Or maybe not. Maybe we actually have to reload the whole area. 
good. good to know going forward. Okay, small white soapstone and radiant life gem. Awesome. Let's try to drop on down. Which one has the item? There we go. Always a tricky drop down. Okay, let's do a quick re- oh. I wonder if we're okay to not reset, actually. Because then all these enemies come back. I'm not sure we want that. Drop down. Okay, ooh, bandit's knife, nice. That might actually be better than the... A little less critical, but we get, I think, some bleed and a little better... Oh, do we not have the stats for it? We do not. That's unfortunate. 3 and 11 dexterity. We have no physical stats. This is the bargain you make when you are a mage at the start. A human effigy. Just gonna work our way down here. and easy, and slowly drop down. Yeah, let's take a sippy right there. Throwing knives, awesome. Just run a hill over here. Okay, we should have. Well, he fell, <laughs> but we should have, I think, an item right over here. Life jump. Take a little while. Oh my god. Should be, I think, a shield over this way. Okay, let's 
get the fire longsword next. Just kind of run right in here. Now we're probably not going to be using the fire longsword because we'll kind of explore and experiment with some other weapons, but this is where the fire longsword is, of course. And run. Oh boy. <laughs> it's always a close time. So the main reason for not resetting the area just yet is because now we can just roll right in through this window and nobody is respawned. They're all kind of just hanging out like ragdolls. Okay, I think if we talk to her again... Okay, good to go. She should be moving on. But we should be able to get that crystal lizard now. There we go. Okay, Titanite Shard. Always need more of those. And... Extra souls, of course. Drop on down. Ooh, almost killed us. And let's head on back to Majula real quick. Okay, we get the short bow in here. I think that requires 12 dexterity. Ah, yes. Very good. Now I can get to work. But first, let me set up. Come again later. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. Seek the king. That is the only way. Lest this land swallow you whole, as it has so many others. Okay, I don't think we have any shards, but... Actually, we missed the dialogue in our first intro episode just because of the recording issues. Let's see if she will repeat it. Lake seeking salvation soon lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all, sooner or later. That blue knight at the base of the tower, his spirit is already broken. Although he does offer sound advice. Perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. Okay, yeah, let's level up. Okay, we can get three. Okay, we need... I think two... No, three decks will give us the, uh, the bandit knife. And then we slowly work on our strength. Also need one more attunement slot soon. Okay, we'll just kind of keep working our way up. I wonder if we have enough items. We have some. Let's see if we got enough here. Bear, seek, nest. Okay, let's level up again. 
get a couple more here. Let's see. Two strength. There we go. Okay, we can switch out some items now. Let's throw on the short sword as well as the bandit knife. Oh, the hand axe is actually pretty good too, 135. Oh, we don't have the, the strength for that yet. We're at only seven. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Okay, let's head back into the Cardinal Tower. can continue on for a little while still. I think at least the first part of this area down here. And that door is, of course, locked for the moment. I guess we have to kind of do it that way. There we go. Okay, more soul items. And that door is locked. Ooh, come to think of it, I wonder if Valencia is selling a firebomb. And for how much? Because we might need one of those. Hopefully it's not too expensive. You would... Okay, 200. Let's just buy two, just in case. So we will be needing one of those. Actually, I always wonder if we can blow it up from this side. Hmm, might not be worth the risk. Just kind of work our way over. We definitely are going to want that shortcut. Let's go over this way. First is the way to go here. There we go. Human effigy, of course. Okay, now, if we're lucky, this guy will blow this up for us. Got some friends coming our way. Oh, that's kind of funny. The hardest thing to get this guy to do this for us. My goodness. He's just going to keep on missing, I think. There we go, finally. Awesome. 
now we have our shortcut. There we go. Now, first, let's go down this way and get everything we need. Yep, gotta get talk to Kale. Okay, human effigy. yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. Why cartography, you ask? Well, that's a good question. When I first came into this forsaken land, it was um, a, a curse? Uh, something about a curse? How embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. I came to this land some time ago. Dranglik, the lost kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen Majula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home, well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Dren Lake. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Yes, yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. No. Poor Kale. He's having it. some issues remembering things. Then what? I don't seem to recall. Were you looking for that map? Wonderful. Then you are fascinated by... Probably maps. slowly but surely losing grip of his humanity. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here, take this. A key to the mansion. Awesome, the house key. To meet a kindred spirit out here. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. Awesome. And we have a description of that key now. Key to the abandoned house in Majula received from Kale, their cartographer. In the past, Majula served as a dumping ground for horrible things, but is now a gathering place for those with no better place to go. It seems this house in Majula was the final home for a few such souls. Okay, let's work our way back. Of 
course. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We can roll on down. Okay, I think we can drop on down right over here, actually. Drop on down again, and there should be some Titanite right over this way. And then work our way back on up and over. Oh, you're still here. Okay, now we're just going to draw out the Pursuer, but we're not going to fight him here, because I prefer fighting on the other area. We can get some items while we're here. Repair powder. And down he goes. Kind of cool to see him, though. Get some space. Oh boy. good items up here. I think we have actually another Estus Shard Flask. Estus Flask Shard, I should say. Okay, there we go. There we go. And there we go. Awesome. Okay, we've only got five Soul Arrow left, and... Before we go down that way, we're going to want to get the Ferris Lockstone in the mansion, or the house of Majula. Let's travel on back. Just a couple more things to do to wrap up this episode. Okay, first, let's head on over to the mansion, or the house. <laughs> Got some items in here. Lockstone. Stone activating a creation of Ferris of the Vagabond. Ferris the Vagabond. Ferris the Vagabond was a legend who wandered the lands, creating contra contraptions to help those in sincere and dire need. The scope of his travels was so wide that Ferris has been mistakenly credited with many inventions that were crafted by others. Kind of a cool concept where you find these little stones and they open areas that are potentially of use, and some that are just useless entirely. We should have... I think... Some more Titanite right up here. There we go. And... Head back on down to the basement area. Right over here. And here's the map that Kale was talking about, of course. 
slowly but surely, little torches will show up here. Guess this is the danger that Kale was talking about. Ooh, human effigy. I almost thought he was going to drop a falchion. That would have been nice. Okay, that's the slash shard. And the soul vessel. Which I believe is used for respecting your stats. Should be everything. Is that a shard you've here? Let me see it. So that I may help you to see light, to see hope, however faint it might be. level up a little bit here. So our dex is pretty good and our strength is okay for now because we do have our short sword. We are going to want to get one more attunement real quick because we're picking up I think great soul arrow very soon and oh that's all we get. <laughs> Just one item or one level. Okay. Let's see what our stats. Oh didn't want to do that. see here. Our stats are... Well, we might be able to buy the rapier, actually. You, stand back. This is dangerous work. The name's Lenigrast. Just a simple blacksmith. And you are... Uh, uh, another useless traveler. Always so friendly. A man to labor with his feet planted firmly in the earth. Not roam around like you flirtatious vagabonds. Oh, what does it matter? Go on, show me what you've got. You're equipped. Let me have a look. But do it quick. Okay, so we can't actually buy either the Felchin for 12... Oh, we don't have the stats for it. But we do have the stats for the rapier. Thrusting sword can be used while holding up a shield. Let's just pick that up, because I've actually never used the rapier in this game. So that'll be kind of a fun change of pace. And can we reinforce anything? No, we need way more souls. I'll be around. But let's see if we have enough. Maybe. Okay, reinforce. So close. <laughs> okay. Can't quite do that just yet. But we never did our class. Let's quick do that. There we go. Okay, we are up to four. Awesome. So in our next one, we will continue on through the Forest of Fallen Giants and potentially get to the last giant and maybe even Pursuer. We'll see how the episode goes. With that, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.